Hello, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Of course, I'm Alina Aline, and this video is going to be a bit lengthy, so I hope that you will bear with me, okay? But I really wanted to do this video because we are coming to the end of the year, Christmas is fast approaching, and I really haven't done any table setting with you all. So this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set your table for breakfast. So what I did is I have prepared all my cutlery, my cockery, everything, which is called maison plants in, in the French term, meaning putting everything in its place. So anyway, I'm going really fast, I know that. So those of you who have been looking at my channel for the first time, all right, I want to encourage you all to subscribe. So I'll give you just a minute to subscribe. I'm waiting. I'm whistling and waiting. <laughs> All right, so I hope you subscribe. So those of you who are probably looking at my channel for the first time are probably wondering, what is this girl doing? So I'll briefly tell you what my channel is about. My channel is about helping persons to become the best version of themselves by touching on different areas that I am specialized in, such as home decor, I do my own fashion, as well as dining and table etiquette, wine education, and a whole lot more. So, are you all excited about this video? I am really excited because this is something that is part of me. I have been in the hotel and restaurant industry for a very, very long time, almost two decades. And uh, at this time, I would like to at least share my knowledge and expertise in this area. Now, what I have observed through the years is that no one or families sort of don't uh, go at the table and dine anymore. Um, everybody is always in a hurry, they eat quickly and they move on. So I'm really hoping that me showing you all how to set your table for breakfast will kind of bring the families back and encourage persons, even if it's just once a week, once a week guys, just once a week to sit with your family and eat and not just wait for special occasions like Easter and Christmas and Thanksgiving and so on, but at least, you know, make that a, a very important part of your family life by sitting together and having breakfast. So, are you guys ready? I am so ready to show you all how to set your table for breakfast. So, let's jump in with our food you do. I'll see you shortly. Take care. Okay guys, so this is my table set in. What I've done is, uh, to save time, what I did, I put my tablecloths down, I put my table mats down. But there are also some rule of thumbs that we should try to follow before we start setting our tables. The first thing is, we must pay attention to our chairs, make sure that it's not rocky or shaky. The same thing goes for the table. When we put our tablecloths down, we want to ensure that there is no holes, no rips, no tears, no stains. We want to make sure that it's lovely, uh, a nice clean tablecloth as well as the napkins. Now I am setting this table in a family style um, home setting. However, persons who are in the restaurant industry can look at this and probably gain some tips in order to become better at what they do. So as I said, uh, I've already put my tablecloths down. Um, I've prepared everything which is now I have my cutlery and what I'm going to do is now to put that down okay so our knives go on the right and our forks go on the left now there are cases where you would see um, the joint knife, joint fork, then you'd see fish knife, fish fork. It depends on what the menu is. The restaurant would usually have those cutleries and flatware ready. But as I said, it's more like a home setting, so I don't have that. Okay, so what I have is, you have your cereal spoon, and your teaspoon. You have your sweet fork and your spoon. 
Okay. So what I'm going to do is to go around and finish set the rest of the table. So when you're putting your table uh, sorry, not your tablecloth, but your cutlery, um, for your sweet fork and your sweet spoon, the fork goes first, face the, the tines of the, the, the fork faces to the right, and your sweet spoon goes just above it, facing the opposite direction. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to put down my bread and butter side plates, and that goes to the left side of your table setting which is the side where your joint fork is. I'm also putting down my bread and butter knife. Oops. Okay so what I'm going to do now is to put my plates down now and the rest of my crockery. Now what I have is uh, my fruit plate I also have the main course plate as well as the soup bowls or not the soup bowls well the cereal so your cereal your porridge um, your cold cereals whatever it is so what I'm going to do is to put the main course plate where you'll have your eggs and your bacon your pancakes whatever then I'm going to put the fruit plate and then the cereal bowl so you see in the order in how it goes in terms of serving all right so you usually have your cereal and your fruits first and then you go into having your main breakfast okay so i'm gonna put those plates down now okay so it's important that when you're putting your plates down that your thumb is not inside the plate all right so make sure you keep your finger outside the room and something I didn't tell you all as well is that what you can do in terms of measuring how far the cutlery and your flatware is supposed to be from the table what I do is usually use my thumb to measure so you know that it's not going to be falling off or any accidents if your guests sit at the table Okay, and now I'm putting down my fruit plate. And now I'm putting down my underliners for my cereal bowls. And now for my cereal bowls. So we're not quite done as yet. What I'm now going to do is to put down my teacup and saucers and then I'll put my rest of items which would be my teapots, my water jug, my juice jugs and glasses. So we're almost there, okay? Alright, so what we want to remember when we're putting our teacups down is that the handle is in the direction of the clock which is at four o'clock so when your guest is sitting to eat it's or to have their tea or coffee it's easy for them to turn the handle as opposed to the handle is at three at two o'clock and so on all right so what you can do is to put the handle at four o'clock some people they will teach you to put it at five o'clock it depends but this is reasonable also want to ensure that there isn't any stains on your teacups uh, there is no lipstick stains you want to make sure and get rid of all of that so that it's not it's presentable and you don't get embarrassed okay
Okay, and now I'm going to put my glasses down. So there are usually two glasses that you'd see at the table or on the table, which will be your water goblet and your juice glass. So I'll put those down now. Uh, in terms of the placement of the glass, you will put your water goblet just above your joint knife and your juice glass goes diagonal or next to your water goblet. And once again, you want to hold your glass at the base. Okay, you don't want to have your fingerprints on it so you have your glass at the base. Oh, okay. Just a little bit in your juice glass, and of course, you have your water goblet and your juice glass. Yes, okay, so we are not quite done. Yes, it does take a lot of work setting a table, as you all would see, it's not as easy. and you know there's a lot of thought that goes into it and you want your table to look as neat and uh, aligned as possible so yeah so now i'm going to put my other items on the table all right so these usually go to the center of the table Let me just move my things all right so you have your milk jug I have my uh, well what you can do is you can put one uh, mug with hot water oh this is not staying at all right and then you have the other mug with coffee so the hot water for those who would like to have tea and then you have your coffee you have your uh, butter dish and you can also put preserves in it as well you have your salt and pepper shaker and mostly all these things goes to the oops I'm sorry right oh my arm is so pretty all right and of course you have your sugar bowl this is a bit small but you can always get something larger have your sugar bowl and what we call this is like a slop basin so uh, once your guests draw their tea and they want to throw it away their tea bag if you're having sugar in the pack they won't put it at the side of their plate or on the table so this is what they will call a slop basin so you put that on your table all right so my table is really really uh packed and I still have not put everything on the table. I just have a couple more items and then we will go through the entire thing together, okay? So usually you'll have probably two pitchers um, on the table, which is your uh, water, water jug. And you have your juice jug as well. So you have two jugs. I won't put it on the table, but what you can have is like a side station, a small table is what we call a, a side station, so that when the table is this full, you can have those very close by. So people can get up or the silver will come and pour your juice and water. But these are the most essential items that you should have on your table for breakfast. I also have my bread basket over here. All right, so you can put your assorted breads um, in this as well and so your guests will be able to, to get it um, and of course you'll have your, your thumbs and so on and I think basically this is what a, a, a very full breakfast setting if I, if I would say uh, for your team so Let's go through this again. So you must have your condiments, your salt and pepper shaker, your slop basin. You have two jugs, one for coffee, one for hot water. You have your milk jug. 
and you have your butter dish. Um, in some cases, you may put it in a ramekin so that every person on the table have their individual butter dish and preserves. You can, uh, you can do that in your own ramekin. Then you have your side plates, you have your bread and butter. Now if you have your main course plate, your salad plate, your cereal bowl, your teacup and saucer. And of course, for sweet items, after you have your breakfast, you have your sweet fork and your sweet spoon to the top, as if you're setting for lunch or dinner. Uh, I think I have everything. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this video. Of course, if you have questions as well, feel free to put your questions in the comment section and I'll be very, very happy to answer your questions as well as if you have any other questions in terms of uh, other ideas or uh, I don't know, anything that you have in terms of what my channel is about, you can feel free to ask those questions, okay? So tell me what you think about the table setting and uh, let me know as well in the comments if you think I left out anything. And basically that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed that short demonstration or long demonstration on how to set your table for breakfast. It was indeed a pleasure showing you guys that and I hope you will practice, practice, practice. Christmas is coming and other events so you may want to get your stuff ready and once again if you have any comments or questions pertaining to this video or any other video I've done in the past please feel free to do so. So see you guys next video. Take care. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.